Good morning, Leo. This is Renee, and welcome to my channel. If you're returning, welcome. Thank you for your support. And this reading will be for December the 15th through the 31st. This is a general reading. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity in your situation. Okay, Leo. What do we have? Impartiality. Okay. I feel like you may need to take a, another look at something. There may be something that you need to take a second look at. There may be something that you're missing. You have body and soul. So yeah, I think that's a good focus for you this month also is to concentrate on your body and soul. At the bottom, you have birds of a feather. So I feel like you'll be spending a lot of time with your friends, family. You'll be surrounded by your people. Okay, what else do we have for Leo? For December 15th through the 31st. We have affirmation for acceptance. Okay. At the bottom we have the sun and the stars. So I feel like you're kind of daydreaming a little bit, Leo. Are you kind of up in the clouds? Has your mind been wandering? Um, I also feel like you may be a little down at the moment by a certain situation. Okay, you have the Raven, Shaman. You are the creator and the magician use your gifts for good there is power in your wisdom and words connect with the elemental spirits and guide through the void claim your place as the keeper of the mysteries hmm. very interesting you know what i don't think i've ever seen that card yet and you also, at the bottom, you have the white stag, protector. You are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Very interesting. Okay, both of these cards indicate that you're the creator. Hmm. And a magician. Very interesting. Very, very interesting power um, that's coming across from you, Leo. Let's take a look at what your angels want to tell you. What does your angels want to tell you at this time? A message from, from your angels, please. For Leo, you have Rhea. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. Yeah, that goes with the body and soul. So I feel like that should be a really good focus for you is to really concentrate on your body and soul. At the bottom, you have Isaiah. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes definitely okay let's get some tarot let's see what the tarot has to say for leo let's see what tarot has to say for leo See what the tarot has to say for Leo in this situation. What do we have for Leo for December 
15th through the 31st. What's in store for Leo? What's coming for Leo in the month of December that he may not be aware of or she? The Empress. Yeah, that's another card for giving birth. Wow. Okay, so you're very fertile at this time. You're very fruitful. And actually, that's a very good card for manifesting something as well. The Empress is a very good manifester. You have the Nine of Swords. You have the Five of Cups. You have the High Priestess. You have the Seven of Wands. You have the Tower. Oh. You have the Hangman. The Queen of Swords. Oh, two of them want to come out. Okay. You have the Fool and the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Eight of Swords. The Chariot. And the Six of Wands. Okay. At the very bottom, you have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like what you don't see coming is you're going to find your happiness. You're finding your happiness here, Leo. And I feel like you're finding your healing as well. Because you have the patient, uh, temperance as well. So I feel like your healing and happiness are coming to you and I feel like it's all because the power you've instilled into it okay now we have the Empress the nine of swords and the five of cups so what I'm feeling is I feel like you're creating something new from your anxieties Something new is coming out of an anxiety moment, which is really odd. And I mean, that's like very difficult to say, but now it may not resonate with all of you, but I feel like, you know, something made you anxious and I feel like that got you moving and you're creating something from that anxiety. You're creating something new. Something is coming through that you're manifesting that's coming through, through some kind of fear or anxiety that you have. And I do feel like you're coming out of some kind of disappointment. I feel like you are, you're working on yourself, but you're not really dwelling on the past, but I feel like you're kind of visiting the past. Maybe you just left a situation that's left you kind of in a drought kind of stage. Hmm. I kind of feel like you're walking blindly someplace. Very interesting. Okay, you have the High Priestess, the Seven of Wands, and the Tower. So I feel like you really need to trust yourself at this moment. You really need to take time out to take a look at your intuition. Maybe you're going to get some kind of visions from your dreams or awareness. Um, but I feel like the Spirit is trying to let you know. They're trying to guide you. They're trying to push you into the right direction. But I feel like someone else has kind of got your ear. Someone else is feeding you some kind of information that's 
kind of drawing you way away from the direction that you need to be moving in. And I feel like the direction that you're moving in is going to lead to a tower moment. Something is going to fail. Something is going to fall because you need to change your direction. Let's see, we have the hangman, the queen of swords, queen of pentacles and the fool. So yeah, I feel like there's some knowledge you need to gain. You need to gain some wisdom. You need to look at something from a different perspective. And that's what we said here in the beginning with this impartiality. I feel like you really need to gain a perspective from a different source. Maybe someone's giving you advice, but they're giving you the wrong advice. Someone's kind of... I feel like they're taking advantage of you. They're taking advantage of you trusting them. But yeah, I, I feel like you need to gain your knowledge. You need to feel more enlightened. Maybe take some alone time. Um, and I really feel like this, this knowledge may be coming from this Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords, she's usually honest, but she's usually honest at a, at, at a fault because... That honesty can cut both ways. You hear what I'm saying? Um, very interesting. Um, it may be that you're ending things with the Queen of Swords. That's the reason why she's so... I feel a bitterness from that card. I feel a bitterness. Some Someone's envious of your situation. Maybe that you're moving on from the situation. Maybe that you are leaving them behind. But I, I feel like there's a bitterness here with this Queen of Swords. And I usually don't feel that, but I'm following my intuition with this situation. And I don't think she's giving you good advice if this is the Queen of Swords giving this to you. This also may be your other person. This also may be someone from the past, someone who has planted this anxiety, someone who has left you with disappointments. But this person just wants you to fail. They want this tower moment to come across. But what they don't see is something wonderful is about to happen. You have this Queen of Pentacles, and this Queen of Pentacles is followed by the Fool. So this Queen of Pentacles, she's wanting to give you practical advice. She may be coming in to offer you guidance that will push you in the right direction. But she's also offering you to take a risk to make a new beginning, to start a new journey. So this may be a Queen of Pentacles that's coming in for you to... Um, start a new love relationship this may be something new coming very interesting leo very interesting now here on this side we have the eight of swords the chariot and the six of wands so i feel like you're kind of leery of the situation. I feel like this Queen of Wands energy um, may have put you in a situation that left you very doubtful. It left you with a lot of questions. It left you with a lot of insecurities. But I feel like you're going to be moving away from that situation. If you're not literally moving, I feel like you're 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 kind of following the right path. I feel like your intuition is going to lead you in the right direction, but only after some soul searching. I feel like after you have gained your guidance, gained your wisdom, because you're very strong, Leo. You're very intuitive. You're very um, powerful, even if you don't realize it. And I feel like you're going to gain the right perspective. You're going to follow the right path. And that path is going to lead you to be victorious. That path is going to set you on the right scale. It's going to get you recognized. You're going to receive your rewards. And I believe your reward is this new relationship. 
Now, this new relationship, it may be a... Um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. That's what the pinnacles are. Now, this Queen of Swords, this someone who's being envious, that is a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, so, yeah, you may want to look out for that one. But, I mean, you have all the signs here. You have Aries, you have Pisces. Um, you have Cancer. So, yeah. Um, but I, I feel like this is a new beginning, but you're holding yourself back from this new beginning. And I feel like it's all because of doubts that you're not moving into it. But I feel like you're overcoming your doubts. You're moving into your success. That's the reason why you're ending the reading with the Six of Wands. And if you remember, at the bottom of the deck, what you didn't see, ta-da, Ten of Cups. Exactly. And along with the Ten of Cups, you have the Temperance. So you have your balance, your healing, um, harmony in your situation. Okay, so yes. Leo, <laughs> you are very powerful at this moment. Let's get some outcome cards for Leo in this situation. What's coming for Leo for this outcome? Okay, look at this first card out. Two of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like you are going to gain love. And this may be a soulmate situation. This may be someone that you've been waiting for. So, excuse me. Somebody who has and will always have your best interest at heart. Yes, the Queen of Pentacles. What did I say here? That's who's coming in. That's who's coming in for you. This Two of Cups, you have the Queen of Pentacles twice. So Spirit is letting me know. I mean what I say. It's... The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is going to come in. Now, this, this may also be someone who's very resourceful. This also may be someone who's very capable of doing whatever. And, it, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, she's very domestic as well. So this is someone who wants to settle down and build a life. This isn't someone who wants to run the streets and, you know, tear stuff down. Yeah, I feel like... You know, I feel like you're coming out of being left out in the cold. You're coming out of feeling depressed. You're feeling definitely, you're definitely feeling more balanced. You're setting your priorities. I feel like this is something that's going to take you to the next level. You're making your choices. You're definitely making your choices. And it's taking you on a new journey of discovery yes you have the will of fortune so yeah i feel like this is taking you on a totally new journey you are you're at a turning point leo this is like the time in your life when you know things are looking up and they may have been looking kind of dreary for the past you know few months but I feel like they're finally turning around let's see what kind of manifesting manifestation cards um, let's see what they want to say what is what is Leo manifesting at the moment what does he need to know he needs to know way too much okay we have First quarter moon in Capricorn, unleash your kindest self. And yeah, watch what you say, Leo. And new moon in Sagittarius, focus on the positive. Definitely, definitely. Focus on the positive. Full moon in Leo, a full moon in Libra. Find a balance. And I believe that's what you're doing, especially with this temperance card. I believe your balance. You're finding your balance. And full moon in Aquarius, be real. <coughs> At the very bottom, 
you have keep your heart open. First quarter moon in Libra. Okay. So let's take a look at this moonology deck. Let's see what else we have for Leo. Let's see what else we have for Leo. December 15th through the 31st. Believe in the impossible. Boom, Leo. Yes, believe in the impossible. A new romantic cycle begins. I love this. I really do. Don't let pride get in your way. This is you, Leo. So yeah, be strong, but don't let your pride get in the way. One more card for Leo. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. Yeah, so in order to act on something, you want to be sure on what you want to manifest. Be clear. Be specific. Manifest exactly what you want to manifest. And you have conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Yes, I believe they're coming into view. They are coming into view. What does the universe, what message does the universe want to give to Leo? December 15th through the 31st. I am the loving energy of the universe. Okay. Yeah. Happiness is my birthright. Exactly. I feel that. You got me excited now, Leo. I'm just raring to go. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender, the outcome... Oh, hold on. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. <coughs> Excuse me. And at the bottom... I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive, perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Yes, yeah, so I feel like you're moving past your fears. You're moving past your fears. You've overcome what it is that you needed to overcome. Now let's take a look at what Leo needs to do in order to tackle any challenges or obstacles that comes his way or her way what does leo need to do when i think of leo i think of leo the lion so it's like i think of him but i'm reading for him or her yes yes spirit what does leo have to do in order to tackle the challenges and the obstacles that come their way. Adversity. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. Okay. Thank you, universe. What else do we have? Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. We're going to have mistakes. We're going to have obstacles, but they're all learning experiences. And we take the knowledge that we receive from them and we move forward. And forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Exactly. And relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Okay, Leo, this is your message for... December 15th through the 31st. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And many blessings to you, Leo. Have a wonderful December. Love and light.